You're watching BBC World News. I'm David Eads with the headlines. The first memorial service has been held in the American city of Minneapolis to remember the life of George Floyd, the black man whose death in police custody has sparked protests worldwide. Three of the police officers charged with aiding and abetting in his murder have made their first court appearances. They've had bail set at a million dollars. They face up to 40 years in jail. Brazil has overtaken Italy to become the country third worst hit by the coronavirus. More than 34,000 Brazilians have died with the disease. Nearly 1,500 deaths have been reported in the last 24-hour period. The chief executive of AstraZeneca has told BBC World News it will be able to supply 2 billion doses of a potential coronavirus vaccine. The firm has signed a deal with Bill Gates, allowing it to double production. This is AP News Minute. Protest in New York over George Floyd's police-involved death ran past an 8 p.m. curfew. Police did make orderly arrests following criticism over the use of riot gear and batons. Video from Buffalo, New York, shows an officer apparently shoving over an elderly man. His head hit the concrete and blood leaked from his ear. He was listed in stable condition. Two officers were reportedly suspended. President Trump goes to Maine on Friday to visit a company that makes swabs for coronavirus testing. A local sheriff urged Trump supporters and protesters to behave themselves during the visit. A ship carrying old and used cars caught fire and they had an explosion in Jacksonville, Florida. The crew got out safely. Nine firefighters went to the hospital. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press, with AP News Minutes.